Hello Libra, welcome to your reading. This is going to be a general love message. We're gonna see how this person is thinking and feeling, their next actions towards you, their intentions, and the potential outcome. So just remember that energy is fluid and the roles could be reversed and only take what resonates. And whenever you find this reading is the right time for you. If you felt drawn to watch it, then Spirit has a message for you. So if you're coming back, welcome back. If you are new here, welcome. Just see where do not read reversals. So if a card comes out in the reverse, I will flip it upright. This is just how I've always read tarot. Just see where. So let's see, spirit. How does this person feel about Libra? Okay, right away we have the Four of Pentacles. Wow, we have the Ten of Cups. We have the Ace of Swords. There's someone here who wants to tell you, Libra, how they feel, which is that they feel very strongly about you. They have, th their feelings have gotten really deep really quick is what I'm getting. They don't want to let you go. They don't want to let this situation go. Um, I feel like this person has been holding back though. They haven't told you how they felt. So this could be someone you've been talking to or uh, maybe it's a friend who has more feelings for you if there's no one in your life just yet. I mean, aces do represent new. So um, this could be in the next couple weeks or few weeks that you meet this person and like they start to fall for you quite quickly. This person wants to open up how they feel is they want to tell you. And you know what else I'm getting here, Libra, is that this person sees you as a, a truth speaker. You speak your truth. You say how it is. Um, you know, you don't hold back. They see you as authentic. They see you as someone who um, wouldn't lie. So they don't want to lie to you, right? They want to be open and honest about their feelings here. Um, anything else about that Ace of Swords, please, Spirit? Anything else about the Ace of Swords? Strength, yeah. This person's trying to like find that inner courage <laughs> to let you know how they feel, right? There's like a sense of, you know, it's... It's an act of bravery to be vulnerable with someone, right? To open up and tell them how you feel and to say what's on your mind. Um, not knowing if they feel the same or how it could go, right? So this person, they, they're, they're tired of holding back. They they want to just open up and, and let you know. Um, it's like bite the bullet. Just do it. Like go for it. Don't let your fears hold you back. Tell me about the Ten of Cups the magician. They're trying to make this happen. I also feel like this person, you know, we have to remember that when we're trying to manifest certain connections, whether it's like a long-term one or a soulmate or whatever it might be, um, it's it wants us just as bad. So I feel like this person not only has tried to manifest you or they have manifested you, they've, you know, visualized, they've thought about being with someone who makes them feel the way you make them feel. Um, they're also like, trying to use all the tricks in the in the bag to try and like get your attention here to try and make this work to try and let you know that they're you know the magician has the cups the pentacles the swords the wands all in, so they're going to be flirty they might offer you gifts or um acts of service right they're going to be open and vulnerable they're going to communicate right like this person's trying to do all the things so think of your love language and it's like this person wants to do that and then some um to let you know here what's on their mind and how they're feeling. So let's see their actions towards you in the next two to four weeks. Could be a little less, could be a little more. What actions? We have the Eight of Swords. We have the Wheel of Fortune. We have the Emperor, Aries energy. We have the Knight of Swords. So it's like no no more overthinking. No more over, overthinking the situation. No more telling themselves why they can't do it or why they can't say what they need to say to you. You know, no more self-doubt. No more self-imposed prison, right? They're waiting for the right time here, which I know divine timing can be frustrating at times, but 
it's for a reason, right? It's like the, this person's coming in divine timing here and they're coming through strong. It's like nothing can stop them from letting you know how they feel. They're going to, um, it's like beeline, like all they can see is you. They're going to step up to the plate here with this emperor energy. This is someone who's a leader. This is someone who just goes for it. They don't let fear get in their way, right? Um, so heavy in their masculine energy doesn't mean they have to be a male, but just someone who knows what they want and they go after it here. Yeah, this person is just, they're, they're just not letting their own mind get in the way. Maybe they've done this in the past, right? Um, I see the king and queen of pentacles at the bottom. We'll see if that comes out. Anything about that knight of swords? The hermit, Virgo energy. And justice, Libra energy. Yeah, it's like this person could have been like a lone wolf. This person could have been, you know, they might even tell you, you know, I haven't been with someone in a long time or I like spend a lot of time alone. They're very wise, I feel. I feel like they're very patient. I'm also getting um, someone who has learned a lot of life lessons. They're almost like an old soul is kind of what I'm getting here. So you're going to get that vibe from them of like, they could be quite young, but they have like an old, like might even like older music or just the way they dress even, just even the way they carry themselves, the way they speak, like they just seem like they've been here before kind of deal. Um, if you've met like an old soul before, you know what that looks like. But um, yeah, this person wants to have a conversation here with you. It's like a truth being revealed here. They look at you like they're good karma. Like maybe they've been alone. Maybe they've done a lot of healing, a lot of inner spiritual work with that hermit card. And now here you come in divine timing. And they're like, I'm not going to let this opportunity pass me by. I didn't do all this healing and all this reflecting and all this time alone just to have someone like Libra come along. And I just don't say anything right so it looks like this person is uh anything else about that knight of swords gonna have a call there's definitely a message coming in here the moon pisces energy lots of major arcanas here and the five of cups so this person might even you know the first conversation you might have with this person if you haven't met them yet um, or even if you have met them, the, the conversation might get deeper. They might start to tell you about their past. They might start to explain to you why they've spent time alone, why, you know, um, they they might take their time with things or, you know, why they feel so sure about you. Because there's something, there's a lot of unknown here. I feel like this person, um, they don't let their past sort of drag them down or define them, but they know that it's shaped them. Right. They understand that what they've been through has, you know, taught them a lot. And so I feel like they might. Yeah, they might tell you this. They feel like they, they might open up about some of the things because you might you might be talking to this person and realize, like, I don't really know a lot about them. I don't really know a lot about, you know, their history or their past or what their family's like or whatever it might be. And so they might start opening up about that. But it's going to be a slow process here. How y'all know this person too is that they take their time when they speak. So if you ask them something, they might not answer right away. They might take a few moments to sort of think and formulate their answer. This is someone who, they're, they're very wise. They're very intelligent. Um, yeah, they don't, I don't know. Like they just, it's not even necessarily that they speak slowly. They just speak with intent is how it's coming through. So it could be a Gemini, a Libra like yourself, Leo, Aries, Virgo, Pisces. Um, but expect a conversation here. It's going to be a deeper conversation. Like there's going to be things revealed about them. Um, so again, if there's no one in your life yet, there's going to be someone who comes in this divine timing and you're just going to know that this person's interested in you. They could be a boss of some sort, some sort of like entrepreneur who's in charge or there's they're just a leader you're gonna know this person as like a leader and then you start having conversation and it gets deeper with them anything about that wheel of fortune seven of cups judgment and the hanged man interesting so this could be someone who you know has especially if you're both kind of dating figuring it out has options right now the judgment card can represent second chances. So this could be someone that you already have, you know, tried with and maybe they uh, weren't, 
you know, it just didn't line up at that time or whatever it might be. Um, this person's seeing things differently here is what I'm getting. But Seven of Cups isn't always like there's other people involved. It could just be like, I have so much going on. I'm like emotionally overwhelmed right now. Like there's a lot of different things I'm putting my emotion into. Um, but again, if there's no one and this is someone brand new, the judgment card can just be like, this is my chance, right? It's happening in divine timing. This is my chance to have something deeper here. I'm not going to let it pass me by, right? Whereas maybe before they've let opportunities pass them by to connect with people because they were just so... I feel like this person spends a lot of time alone is what I'm getting. Um, but for those of you who feel like you know who it is, I feel like they, um, you know, if they just had other options or I just heard other options in work. So maybe they chose work before or something like that. Um, I feel like they want another chance here, but use your discernment. I always say if there's someone on your mind when you watch these readings or I see message or comments like they messaged me while I was watching the reading or right after or a day after or something like that, like that's probably who it's about, right? Use your intuition, but let's see if this person's intentions. Like what do they want with you here, Libra? What is this person's intentions with Libra? Thank you. Wow, we got the four of wands right away. We have the eight of wands. So this person definitely wants fat forward movement here. They want, um, and there's that emperor again. <laughs> so this is the type of person, like they mean what they say and they say what they mean. This person's going after, like they want to step up. They want to show you that they're serious here. So this is their actions and their intentions. Their actions and their intentions don't always line up when I do these readings here, Libra. So this is someone who means what they say and says what they mean. This person wants to take it to that next level here with you with that four of wands. There's a lot of fast movement here. There's a lot of um, communication. This person's like, no time to waste here. Like I've already been alone or I've already thought about it or whatever. Like I, I just need to let Libra know how I feel. Right. So if you're just sort of casually talking, it could be the next step is being exclusive. If you're already exclusive, it could be, you know, come meet my family. If you've already done that, it could be let's move in. If you've already done that, it could be engagement. Right. Um, take it as it resonates here. But yeah, this person's definitely interested in taking that next step here with you. And again, they, they don't want to let this opportunity pass them by. But this is someone who knows what they want and they go for it. Mm hmm. Anything else for their intentions, please, Spirit? Oh, Three of Cups, the High Priestess, Pisces energy, and the Hierophant, Taurus energy. This person just knows. There's like a deeper knowing that this person is like, I want something more traditional here with Libra. They might even want marriage, a higher level of commitment here, right? Um, there's just, their intuition is just telling them here, right? They, they want to have fun with you they want to keep it fresh keep it light you know like i feel like this person could be like a very serious person but they actually are very um, playful but they don't let everybody see that side of them especially if they're in some sort of position at work where they kind of have to like i'm thinking of like a lawyer or something right doesn't mean they have to like the justice card is here they could work in the law but you know how like if you see a lawyer sometimes they can when they're at work, they're very serious, right? It's all about the facts. It's all about getting the job done. It's all about like movement forward, right? So you would think that this person's like this all the time, but they're actually quite playful with that three of cups. They like having fun. You might even go stargazing with this person. Um, but deep down, they just kind of know they want this commitment with you. It's just their, their gut. It's, they're following their gut here. They're following their intuition, which is telling them that they want... Uh, so this person wants commitment. So... If they were confused before or like i said if you already connected with this person or whatever it is usually when the six of cups comes out with judgment it tells me this is someone from your past but judgment like i said can just be like this person just sees this as like this is my chance this is my chance to have something deeper um not necessarily a second chance with you right but maybe it's just their second chance in general maybe the first time when they thought they connected with someone or they could they they didn't right so you are their their chance they, they just feel it right away here um, but let's see the potential outcome. What's the potential outcome? Ace of Pentacles. So starting something new here, something fresh, Two of Swords. I feel like this is your energy here, Libra, like just not really being sure right away. Um, and then we got the Three of Swords and that could be why. Maybe there's still some like lingering heartbreak, lingering pain here. Tell me about the Three of Swords. 
six of wands, three of wands. Yeah, so it's not telling me that there's another person here, but I am seeing the devil card at the bottom, and I was seeing that before with the eight of swords here. I feel like there could be a lot of like overthinking, right? Or if there's been a lot of heartbreak in your past here, or maybe it's this person, um, just not wanting to repeat the same cycle, not wanting the future to look like the past here, right? So the Ace of Pentacles is a new beginning. It's fresh. It's let's, you know start from the ground up like i love that this ace of pentacles is depicted as a seed because when you think of planting a seed you have to nurture it right every day you can't just be like we're in a relationship and then have it figure it out itself you have to take care of it right so this person wants to do that here but there is indecision and i feel like there's still some lingering pain here yeah this is very specific, but one or both of you could have been in a relationship that when it ended was kind of public, like maybe you're big on social media or just a lot of people knew about the two of you. And so when it ended, it was like everyone knew about it, um, whether it's just like you're from a community where everyone kind of is connected or um, like I said, social media or something like that. It feels like it, it doesn't, it feels like a lot of people were involved in some way. Um, so it's just like not wanting to repeat the past here. Tell me about the Ace of Pentacles, please, Spirit. Queen of Pentacles and the Lovers. Gemini energy here, yeah. So this person wants to nurture this connection. They want to take care and let that Lovers card, like the Lovers is like marriage, it's love, it's partnership, it's union right? It's deep affection. It's a strong bond. So you both feel this, like it's a mutual energy, but I do feel like there's indecision here. There's a little bit of hesitancy. Um, but this person wants to, you know, they're very responsible. Like this is someone who, how do I put this? They might say something like, and maybe they won't, but this is how I'm going to say it because this is what I feel. They're like, I, I realize that you know, having your heart or having a piece of your heart is very fragile, like is very, it's not something to mess with. I want to take care of it. I want to nurture. It. I want to make sure like, I'm just seeing someone sort of carry something like very, I'm seeing a baby chick. I don't know why. <laughs> so obviously your heart isn't a baby chick, but I'm seeing like a baby, like they're very gentle, very careful, very, um, you know, nurturing, very responsible, knowing like this is a big responsibility, right? It's not something that they take lightly is what I'm getting. So I mean, this person means well here, Libra, but this might just be you sort of being like, mm, like, or maybe they were in a very public or well-known relationship that ended and you're like, oh, like, I don't know, do I want to get into something like that or whatever it might be. Um, but there is a strong bond here and I do feel like this person means well, like they have good intentions here. Um, so it could be a Gemini, Libra, Leo, Aries, Virgo, Libra again, um, Pisces, Taurus, Gemini. But if you don't hear their sign, it doesn't mean they're not here. Um, yeah, but how will how will Libra know who this is? The King of Wands and the Page of Swords. Someone who's very confident. Someone who's a leader. Again, very much in their masculine energy. So they don't have to be a male, but it's just someone who's like got that spark, got that, like, people are kind of drawn to them. They're a good leader. They're charismatic. Like, I'm, <laughs> maybe it's because in some ways he kind of resembles, but, you know, I'm not into politics in any way, shape, or form. Um, but, you know, there's clips I've come across of, um, I don't even want to say this because I feel like it's going to get taken the wrong way. But the, this person is just very charismatic. They're very charismatic. They they know how to, like I said, they kind of take their time when they speak. They're very intelligent. They um very confident. This person is kind of, even though they are this emperor, someone who has a lot of knowledge, someone who um, is a leader, they're always, this person might like to read a lot. Like they're always like, trying to expand their mind they understand that there's still so much for them to learn right um they could keep an eye on you too like you could notice that they like watch your stories or like all your pictures or whatever like they like looking at you too um any advice for libra wow we have the queen of cups and the star 
Aquarius energy. So open yourself up to love here. Open yourself up to receiving. I'm seeing the fool at the bottom. So take that leap of faith, right? I feel like, um, yeah, just be open to receive this love here. I can't help but see the lovers right there in the corner. But um, step into that feminine because this person is very much in their masculine. They're going to come after you. They're going to pursue, pursue you. So if you're in some sort of connection, um, Libra, where you feel like you're kind of always chasing this person or you're always initiating or you're always like, you know, uh, messaging first. That's not what this is. This person knows what they want and they go after it. So if there's no one yet, I do feel like there's someone new coming in here. Um, and be open to receive that. This might be part of your healing to be willing to receive, right? Can be easy to say, yeah, I'm willing to receive. But if we're used to being in our masculine energy, it's hard to sit back and be in our feminine, right? But that's what your advice is here is to be in that feminine energy. Let this person come to you. Um, and they understand your healing. Like I said, I just keep seeing that baby chick. Like they understand this is like something fragile, something like, you know, precious, something special. Um, and they want to take care. We got coffin, new beginnings, liberation, reborn and transition, tragic endings. So I do have to acknowledge the tragic endings with the three of swords. This could have been you or them or maybe both of you. But the new beginnings is the biggest thing here. Um, Libra. And then we got not enough. Lacking confidence, self-sabotage, ego and fear, frustrations. I mean, this very well could have been this person, right? Could be you at times where you just sort of get in your own head here. Um, but then we have talking. Interested, awaiting messages, text, calls, email, talking more. So definitely a lot of messages coming in here. And I see the phoenix at the bottom. New phase and rekindle, renew and growth, changed mind, rise from ashes. So you're very much like the phoenix here. Um, let's see what comes through in Kipper for you, Libra. Ooh, okay. We got occupation, we got mature woman, and we got official person. So this, I feel like this person is very well known in whatever they might do in their community or their job or whatever it might be. Um, we got occupation and mature woman here. So, I mean, this could be you, the mature woman. Um, you could meet this person through work right? Um, or they're just very much into their work here. Um, I always say, I, sometimes it's hard for me to connect to Kippers, so I'm not getting anything too strong from that, but take it as it resonates. Oh. We got patience. I accept that everything happens in divine order. See, I'm telling you, you got that for their actions. Like it's happening. It's happening exactly when it's supposed to. And oftentimes when things are taking a little bit, the universe is working things out behind the scenes that we can't necessarily understand, right? So once you meet this person, you might be, you might come to learn things about them or about your situations that you're like, oh, that's why we couldn't meet before. That's why it took this long. That's why, it, like, you know, it, it hindsight is twenty twenty basically. We got reconsider. So for some of you, like I said, the judgment card is here. This could be someone that you had a chance with before. They had a chance with you and they didn't take it. Um, and so they're asking you to reconsider. We got remain positive. So keep that positive mindset. Libra. Messages for Libra. We got the end of a tough cycle approaches. Capricorn energy. So if things have been rough here, especially in love, Libra. That is ending. And then you got balanced spirituality and practicality. Pisces energy. So connect to your higher self. Um, this could be through meditation, journaling, spending time in nature, right? Um, whatever it might be, but yeah, balancing, balance spirituality and practicality to me is always like, if you're, you know, asking for, uh, certain things to manifest or what have you, but then you also have to take the inspired action. It's like the spiritual aspect and the actual like doing, because we are here in the earthly plane, the 3D world, right? So combining the two. We got peace. Oh, I love this. Number 23. And thank you, Spirit. Okay, that little egg there, it's almost like that little chicky, like I was saying that like, obviously was once in an egg. It's like, it's very fragile. It's very like, you know, let's take care of it. It's not something to be messed around with. Like they see your heart in this relationship as this, Libra, like something to take care of. Um, 
So we have when two people are in, are in true alignment with one another, they have an innate harmony between them. They are as two perfectly tuned instruments playing together. Sometimes it's impossible to tell who is who. Peace is yours and it is to be savored. So beautiful energy here. This is someone who just gets you. Um, so it also says freedom from attachment, radical acceptance, right? Um, so the oracles, I also feel drawn to read the oracles message, which says it doesn't get any better than this. A quiet mind, a heart fulfilled, freedom from want and the soul's satisfaction. The way to peace is through radical acceptance. Everything in your world is exactly as it should be. Harmony is beautiful. Enjoy it. So again, especially if it's been like a tough cycle for you here, Libra, I feel like that's coming to an end here. Um, a lot of peace, right? A lot of just like quiet, even like this little eggy being like in the meadow where there's not much around, right? Like just you might be spending more time in nature. That dove is there. There's also an olive branch that that little dove is carrying. So again, this could be someone trying to reconsider with you or reconcile with you, you know, um, sending out the olive branch. You might be seeing white feathers as well is what I'm getting. Um, but that's beautiful energy. I don't think that card has ever come out, Libra. So that's a first. So you might even feel like this is the first you felt so peaceful with someone, right? Um, but let's see. So these could be initials of you, of this person, maybe numbers you've been seeing, birth dates, take it as it resonates. But if something here doesn't resonate with you, it doesn't mean that it wasn't your reading. So we got B, G, L, V, V again, Y, Z, or Z, and the number five, which is like change, transformation, like overcoming obstacles, right? So I do hope something here resonated with you, Libra. If it did, please let me know in the comments down below. Please like, share, subscribe if you feel drawn to do so. Thank you so much for all of your beautiful energy. Sending you so much love and light.